So now, we have a horse that's going forward off the driving aids. But we have to make him also have a second quality before he can go on in his training. And that quality is called straightness. Straightness means the ability of the horse to go over the line that he's moving along such that his hind feet are following exactly in the footprints of his front feet on the same side. And so like he's a segment of the circle or the straight line that he's overlapping, right? That means that he has to be able to be bent on bent lines, right? Which means that we have to have a set of aids. So we have a set of aids called a set of bending aids. And just like there were three driving aids, there are three bending aids. What are the three bending aids? Side leg, inside rein, guess what? Those are the three bending aids. Inside legs, put where? Where? At the girth. Everybody always knows that. You know that? If you take 100 pony clubbers and put them in this ring and line them up, and you said, where do you put your inside leg? They go, at the girth, at the girth, at the girth, at the girth. Okay, and which is great. And then I say, why? It's a, it's a center of their balance. It's the center of gravity of the horse. And that's why we're sitting above it. If it were an elephant, we'd be sitting sort of much closer to their ears. And if it was a, a donkey, we would be sitting much closer to the tail. Okay? But for a horse, that's their center of gravity. So we begin changing his balance at a center of balance, and we use our inner leg at the girth. But the horse says, okay, I feel that pressure, I'm just going to throw my butt outwards. So now how do we prevent his butt from going out? Outside leg is brought backward slightly to be used as a barrier to prevent the hindquarters from swinging out from the pressure of our inner leg. Now we have the horse bent from the girth backwards, but we need the horse to be bent equally from the girth forward to the nose, right? So by closing our inside hand into a fist, just enough that the horse yields and brings his head and neck in with the exact bend that we've created in the horse's trunk, in the horse's body, from our legs, we create a horse that is properly bent from nose to tail. And just like I was talking about the driving aids, once the horse is sensitive to these aids and says, oh, okay, I bend, then you say, okay, I can relax my aids now until I need them again. Does that make sense? Do it the lightest possible aids for the grid, perfect results.